Hi, I'm Adam Yenser, and welcome to the Cancelled News, bringing you only the stories that I could think of punchlines for. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I need to hit 8,000 subscribers by the end of the year so I can spend all next year begging you to help me hit 9,000 subscribers. And come see me live. I'll be performing with Mike Burton at the Comedy Cabana in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, November 1st through 4th, and serving as Roastmaster at the Roast of Brandon Strock in West Palm Beach, Florida on November 11th. As you can see, this is a very special Halloween edition of the Cancelled News, where I'll be performing the whole episode in full costume. Obviously, I'm failed Republican House Speaker nominee Tom Emmer. Also, several fans have been asking for more content and suggested I do longer episodes. So tonight, for the first time, I'm experimenting with an extended 20-minute format. Let me know what you all think. Now here's what's in the news. Fighting continues to escalate between Russia and Ukraine and between Israel and Gaza. So to kick off World War III, Joe and Jill Biden bravely stormed Rehoboth Beach. On his Truth Social platform, Donald Trump shared a sketch of Jesus sitting next to him at his trial. Either that or New York has gotten so bad that a homeless man wandered into the courtroom. This story was also the inspiration for my Jesus and Trump jack-o'-lantern this year. Donald Trump was fined $5,000 for violating the gag order in his civil fraud case, which means based on court estimates of his wealth, he can only afford to violate his gag order 520,000 more times. An off-duty Alaskan Airlines pilot tried to seize control of a flight and shut off the engine in midair. Meanwhile, a deranged Southwest Airlines pilot tried to start the engine and take off on time. An Australian businessman claims that while president, Donald Trump once asked Melania to parade around in a bikini to impress guests, and that Barack Obama once asked Michelle to rip a phone book in half and show off her vertical jump. Michigan State University apologized after an image of Hitler briefly appeared on the Jumbotron during last week's football game. They explained that it wasn't supposed to pop up until Michigan Representative Rashida Tlaib's anti-Jew rally later in the day. After three weeks of failed nominees, generic Republican candidate was unanimously elected the new Speaker of the House. Dunkin' Donuts is paying $3 million to settle a lawsuit with a woman who spilled hot coffee on herself. The coffee landed in her lap, scalding her thighs, groin, and donut hole. This is much like the case against McDonald's in the 90s, except the coffee was better. A millionaire baby CEO named Asia Brown has become one of the world's youngest millionaires after launching her first business at the age of one and yet she still makes 30% less than the average male baby CEO. A Spanish con man was arrested for repeatedly faking heart attacks in order to skip out on the bill at fancy restaurants. Authorities became suspicious that his numerous heart attacks weren't real when they found out he didn't even get the vax. It's a joke, YouTube. I'm not anti-vaxxer. Take that stupid warning label away down there. Chevron announced that after buying Hess for $53 billion, they will continue to release the annual Hess truck toys, which as collector's items will continue to be worth $0 billion. Drew Barrymore says that Taylor Swift's relationship with Travis Kelshey inspired her to start dating again after years of celibacy. I mean, Drew's a little past her prime. She's not going to get a Kansas City chief, but... Maybe she can land someone from the Bears or Broncos or something. Bobby, the world's oldest dog ever, died in Portugal this week at the age of 31, and his owner credits his longevity to only feeding him people food. So remember the time your dog came to the table begging for scraps and you angrily told him no? That's what killed him. Liz Cheney said that she won't rule out a presidential run in 2024, but thankfully her poll numbers will. Uh, we have some breaking news. Famed baby CEO Asia Brown has been accused by several employees of creating a toxic work environment by screaming, crying, and pooping at them. Sad to hear. The Supreme Court will soon hear the case of a judge who doesn't want to perform gay marriages. Clarence Thomas has recused himself because he's that judge. 
A store in Paris is allowing customers to steal shoes if they can outrun the professional sprinter they hired as a security guard, while customers in America are allowed to steal shoes if they live in a city run by Democrats. The Taiwanese government is organizing official singles nights to help young people find dates in an attempt to restore the country's plummeting birth rate. Apparently, the only thing not being made in Taiwan is babies. China has also been suffering from a declining birth rate, and if the trend continues, there could soon only be 50 million bajillion Asian people left. As the Amazon River drops to record low levels, ancient stone carvings of faces have emerged from the water, and they're really remarkable. I mean, look at this one. The NBA hired its first openly non-binary trans referee, Che Flores. So the next time Che misses a call, remember to yell, is they blind? A new study found that listening to your favorite music can alleviate physical pain, but listening to a Maroon 5 fan's favorite music actually makes it worse. A 116-year-old great-great-great-grandmother in Spain is now the oldest woman in the world and has no known health problems. Her relatives credit her longevity to only feeding her people food. Senator Mitch McConnell claims that after his freeze-up episodes last month, he is now fine and is completely...
recovered.